guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is brooke and this is going to be new york city vlog it's gonna be actually really exciting because my mom comes into town this afternoon so we're gonna spend like the afternoon evening together we're going to a live show for a podcast that we both like i'm eating some cottage cheese just a little bit i'm going to in like an early lunch but i wanted to have like a few bites of something and i've been in my cottage cheese era it's so good this one from good culture really good so what's up let's think this past weekend i was supposed to be in canada but my flight got canceled and then i would have only been there for one night so it just didn't make sense the whole trip just kind of unraveled quickly i will say the first flight got canceled we rebooked to another one later in the day that one got canceled so i ended up just going out to the hamptons with ben and his family and spent some time there which was really nice just like a peaceful relaxing weekend but i'm ready to like kind of get back to it this week i definitely am we have a full week in the city and a lot of stuff to get done so i have like a lunch meeting at noon then like i said my mom's heading into town i'm really excited i feel like i haven't seen my mom in a while or like i've seen her but we haven't spent like quality time together in a minute so i'm really excited about that subscribe if you guys are new to my channel there's so many of you guys that watch my videos but you haven't yet subscribed so please do this way you'll see them in your subscription box to be notified whatever so i have my mom coming to stay with me so obviously i like washed my sheets did everything even did the duvet okay and of course my bed is gorgeous comfortable amazing thanks to brooklyn Inn. i have had the privilege and honor of working with brooklyn Inn for the past few years now and i am just so grateful because they're such an amazing quality brand and their goal is to provide high quality bedding products but they also have so much more than just bedding they want to offer you like the best quality for the lowest possible price that they can do so right now in my bed i have the duvet i have the sheets the luxe sateen ones i love this like light pink color but i also have so many other colors of brooklyn and sheets i have like a green i have white i have the linen ones but i'm really into this pink this year if you're new to brooklyn and they have really great bundles that you can get that kind of have everything you need like pillowcases sheets the flat sheet the fitted sheet kind of like bundled all in one um i'll show you guys like on the screen here just kind of what some of the the website looks like and how you could go in and really get custom with this it's super fun i really take my bedding situation seriously i feel like you spend so much of your life in your bed um and i really want my bedroom to be like an oasis something that i look forward to doing and just like in investing in like quality sleep is really important to me which is why i love brooklyn and so much the products hold up so well over time i've washed these you know every week now since i've had them and I honestly feel like they get softer with the washing, which is insane. I also have now pillows from Brooklyn Inn and my duvet comforter, in, like inside the duvet insert is Brooklyn Inn. And it's been a dream. And of course, Brooklyn Inn is going to hook it up for you guys today. So if you use the code BROKEM at checkout, that will get you $20 off of orders over $100. So once again, use that code BROKEM at checkout. I will have the link down below. I recommend starting with one of their hardcore bundle sets. They're just so great. And the Luxe Sateen sheets, you can't go wrong. I'm trying to like tidy up my room so that when my mom gets here, she's impressed with me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> We're also officially in that like weird in-between time where it's like, it's fall, but it's not. And it's been pretty like hot and humid still in the city. So I'm trying to decide what to wear for this like lunch meeting, but I, I had it out and ready. I think I'm gonna wear this. It's from Reformation, but I got it from ThreadUp. It's just like a denim dress. I feel like I haven't worn this enough this summer. And I feel like this could actually be a really good transitional piece with like a sweater over the shoulders, right? Cardigan style. Not that I like this together, but like if I needed to throw something on. I do like the dress. And I put on a little bit of makeup. I've been trying to wear my hair natural more too to use less heat on it when I can. I kind of am just into it for now at least. I'm in the cute denim dress. It fits really nicely. I just finished this book, Silver Girl by Ellen Hildebrand. We picked it up. Um, if you didn't watch my Nantucket vlog, you should. I picked it up in Nantucket because a few of the girls on the trip and I were like, let's do a little book club type of deal. We didn't even set like a timeline. We were all just like, let's just read the same book. I did like this one. I found that some sections in the middle were a little slower to get through because it is like a little bit of a thicker one, but I, I just consistently love Ellen's books. This one is about a woman, Meredith, who is the wife someone who is running a ponzi scheme and it kind of like all unravels and she like escapes to nantucket to be with her best friend so it's like a lot about friendship a lot about like value of things and people in your life and i really liked it i i like want to give it four out of five stars but i 
feel like compared to the ones that I've been rating four out of five stars recently, this is like slightly below that just because it's not my favorite Ellen book. But this is also one of her older books and I feel like she's consistently like, she keeps raising the bar with like her writing and her craft. So I'm gonna give this maybe like a 3.8 out of five, but I still would recommend reading it. So Silver Girl, check it out. And next I'm going to read this one heard a lot about this recently. This is by Noelle Crooks. It's called Under the Influence. Devil Wears Prada meets assistance in this compulsively readable debut following a young woman who takes a job working for a influencer and quickly discovers there's an ugly side to being a hashtag girl boss. So sometimes like when things are a little too close to reality, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to read this. But because I heard such praises from like friends and stuff that they enjoyed this book, I was like, let me give it a shot. I will let you guys know how this goes. Last night and today, I just was like, I really want to like not be on my phone and just like read and whatever kind of zone out. I'm glad that I was able to kind of do that and start the week a little, I'm not going to say like completely unplugged, but like, I just feel like that was like a good start to my week was like finishing a book and kind of having a little bit of a slower start to the week, but then we're going to wrap it up and get into it and stuff. You know, this is the dress. I'm going to touch up my makeup a little bit before we head out and then we'll go. Okay. I ended up just throwing over this neutral sweater on top just in case I get cold. This is borrowed from Vivrel. I think my code is Brooke Michio to save, Brooke Michio 10 maybe. And then I'm just wearing sneakers with these like little higher socks. Comfy cash, let's go head over to the lunch. Just wandering around the Lower East Side now. I really want to get a coffee. Okay guys, my mom's here. She's on the phone in the other room. I'll show you in a sec, but I'm home. I quickly got yeah, ready. And it's like, oh, can you add sausages to 920? You could definitely hear her bitching on the phone. So this is Reformation. It's my favorite dress ever. It's the Zenny dress. I have it in multiple colors. I got this one on sale, part of the ref sale. And then I'm wearing these boots with it to make it a little more casual um, because I want to be like somewhat casual. And I think I'm gonna do my YSL bag. I love this because it's super convertible. Like the strap could go like a million and one different ways. So I wear it, you know, like this. Then it's a cutie little shoulder bag. I think I'm just gonna wear my hair natural. I think it looks fine. Maybe I'll put in a bigger hoop. But besides that, I feel good. We're going to the I've Had It podcast live show. Really excited. My mom is a huge fan, so we're really excited. And I think we get to meet them. We did a collab with them recently, which will be airing in a few weeks. So we met them virtually, but excited to really meet them. I think I want bigger hoops. I think I like these ones. They're Jennifer Fisher. All right, look who it is. Oh, my better half. My, you're my better, better half. You look, so you look amazing. Oh. She looks fab. Wait, we do need to do the outfit deeds. Hold on, let me film you. From, let oh, me get the good lighting. Yeah. But this is such a serve. I mean, you and you look amazing. Everyone's saying it. She's working hard. I haven't been in the gym in the last couple of days, but couple of days i mean that's like nothing so this is rent the runway yes always it looks i don't know amazing. what brand this is did you look no okay we'll tell you later looks amazing and then we've got the, the dior shoes so, dun, nah, but nah. look most importantly forget about the nice heel yes the tall gal doesn't necessarily make your legs look the best but at least i'm not you know i think like, it does short heels are actually in this year i've noticed I know, right? yeah we don't have reservations so we're just kind of going rogue with it and it's like kind of storming outside, but yeah, the dress is cute, right? So nice, so like, flattering. The best cut. I love how the um the darts. What, do, what does that mean? The darts. Like, these are the darts. Oh. I think they're called the darts. I now watch your people tell me they're different. I like that it's not like. Do you ever wear All some the of these boob. dresses, yeah, yeah. Like, guys? Yes. We have maybe not put it right there. I'm not wearing a bra yeah. actually. I mean, I could wear strapless, but like it's, t it's so tight. I cannot wait. Brooke, is it called fame crushing? What is it called? <laughs> Celeb crush, I guess. Yeah, like, I, I yeah. Never had it. Yeah, she's my mom's. I've never seen her be like a fan, really, for like many people. Like, I mean, if I was gonna meet like John Mellencamp, I'd be like, of oh course. My God. She's really excited to meet Jen and Pumps. If you guys know, they are. Like, let's put it this way. As an elder, oh, stop. I only listen to two podcasts. My gal's on the go, which now I watch on video, by the way, on YouTube. But then I do have to critique it because I have to send Brooke's screenshots she does. Like, she does Danielle's she's... microphone wasn't blocking her face but yours was blocking your face I know. it's a learning process of being I, I that's sure. why well that's why I, I appreciate I it to you because how would you know we wouldn't like you know like totally. anyway I listen to cows on the go and I listen to I've had it they're so fun if you don't listen to them the swap wasn't like announced yet but we recorded for their podcast and then they're coming on ours but that was way before like Brooke told me you told me about like six months or so ago Delaney told us about it and, and, going and, tonight. Yeah, yeah. and Brooke was like 
I think you really would like them or whatever. Yeah. Just give them a listen or whatever. And then the craziest thing is even Daddy likes it. Like when we're oh, talking really? about this movie, he's like, they're really funny. They're so funny. They're very, yeah, yeah they're really quick, witty guys. Yes, I like them. And we're really excited because I think we do get to meet them tonight. So yeah, I know my mom's really excited. <gasps> it's at City Winery, which I never really know the vibe. It's casual for sure. Like I feel like if anything, like we're a little overdressed, but I brought, you know, we look nice. I think it's good. I don't. Yeah. I don't think girls could ever be overdressed. Yeah, I didn't do my hair, but hopefully it's okay. You look it's beautiful. Just a nice light wave. And I love the things. I love everything. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Stunning, Brooke. Oh, thank you. This color. What is it? Hit it or had it or had it or hit it. I love it. I think I, I think hit it. Yeah. Good. I think it's great. Hey, you're such a fall gal, even though it's like 70 something degree. What is it? 79. We're gonna Rose. go. There's like a bunch of restaurants in a row, basically in the West Village, and. I think you know, we don't have a res, but we're just gonna walk in and see where we can go. It's only two of us, so I'm thinking maybe we could sit at the bar or there's other places like on every corner basically. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm so excited. It's nice. We were just catching up for the past like two hours basically. Non-stop talking. And look, I could hit somebody if anyone tries to attack us. Oh God. Like that guy from Pennsylvania. Good thing we're in New York. I read about that. The oh, guy who escaped crazy. from prison? Yes, he's in Chester County. I'm in wow. Chester. Here's a fun fact. So I went to QVC on Sunday Daddy dropped me off. So oh my God. The gym. And so he drops me off and I get up to like, I get up to the doors yeah. and I'm like, it's like, uh -uh. and I'm like, the door's not working. Uh -uh. And then I read the sign and they're on like tight lock. Badge, tight wow. lockdown. But so he's actually got a bad rap. He was in a lower security prison to be moved. And then he hopped the fence. And, and then that's yeah. why he was able but to. I, but I saw that he was spotted five times. Oh or something yeah. And since. now he's like clean shaven. Like he doesn't look like at all. Like what he looked like? Hopefully we don't need to use this. <laughs> Let's go. Overall, we liked it, I think. Liked it. Most of Dina Mitchell your behavior. Whatever. Yeah. Her powder. I'm just making fun of you. You just don't sound like that. She's so excited. She's so excited. <laughs> Alright, we just met them. How do you feel? What are you gonna get? Oh, oh my boy. god. Oh boy. Careful, it's probably gonna be burn your mouth oh, off hot. I know. I know. Okay. Trust me, I've eaten pizza in my day. My mom Look. just made friends with strangers on the street. Best friends, actually. Hi, guys. Oh boy, did we have a night. My aura ring is telling me that I slept like trash because I drank way more than I normally do. My mom. Uh, got us a bottle of wine for the table and just kept refilling my glass and then she got another glass We were just going up having a fun time and we had so much fun at the live show the iPad at live show My mom left really early this morning to go back home, but I'm gonna see her again and my dad Friday and Saturday I'm going home this weekend. So excited to see them again. I am barefaced because I'm actually going now to get a massage at air ancient baths. I Love this place. I mean, I've only been I think once but I like to go once a year. It's a very special occasion because it's a bougie like massage basically, but then you also get to go in these really cool, they have like hot tubs and cold tubs and whatever. So you do that for like 45 minutes an hour and then you get your massage. Then after that, I'm kind of back to back for the rest of the day. I mean, that's obviously a very relaxing start to the day. And then I am getting my hair done. A brand invited me to get a blowout, which I was like, that's perfect timing because then after that, I'm going to the podcast studio. We're recording with a guest today. And then I am going to a brand dinner. So that is what I have on deck for today. I've been watching um, Sweet Home Alabama in the background. It's actually a really cute movie. I've never seen it. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's a dress. It's I think it's the court dress from Outdoor Voices. Just wanted to wear an athletic dress to keep it simple. No makeup because what's the point of putting on makeup? I'm going to be like, you know in baths basically i don't like i just was like i don't need to put on makeup today at least for now i'm actually bringing my makeup with me so that i could like do it maybe start it there we'll see yeah we're gonna head over to tribeca i believe that's where like tribeca soho ish area is kind of where the spot is and i think it's like newly renovated too so i'm excited to check it out let's head over there i feel like a new woman yeah, so relaxed i was just so amazing when i came out of there highly highly suggest Okay, quick blowout and now we're grabbing lunch that I have eaten. Okay, we're going to go quick. I'm here with a few minutes to spend. 
Okay, we just recorded with Morgan. That was so great. You guys look so cute in your fits right now. Morgan's like the blend of the two of us right now and you're... <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. And now we're gonna go get a jelly cat. Finally, time to go home. I met some new friends at dinner and had a great time. Let's go home. So obviously last night I went to the Jelly Cat Diner after everyone told me to go. A bunch of people were tagging me on TikTok. If you don't know what jelly cats are, these really cute literal stuffed animals that I just love. Danielle got me this one that I keep out here and then I have two in my room. I just think they're adorable, they're so cute. They have like the cutest little smile. I don't know, I'm obsessed. So they have like an experience in New York City at the, F at the FAO Schwartz. By the way, that store, insane. I'm obsessed, it is so freaking cute. There's so much going on. There's people like demoing all the toys and it's chaotic in the most beautiful way. I have like no kids in my life. I don't have any like little baby cousins or like my friends don't have kids like i just don't have kids in my life but if i did i would go there definitely bring them there but otherwise i get them toys from there and stuff because they have like really unique stuff all those like infomercial toys when we were kids if you're my age oh glow recipe also gave us the new serum last night the dinner was so beautiful and i got to sit next to some new friends which was really fun the firming serum so you got to pick if you want a taco pizza burger or hot dog now automatically for me hot dog was off the list because i don't need hot dogs the pizza was probably my favorite but it didn't stand upright i'm so particular i was like if i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get one that it, like it could just sit and stand and everything came with these exclusive stickers and like a pin set so I got the burger, wrapped it up. People were like, I thought it was real food because the way that it's wrapped, oh my, this is my first time really seeing it like close. It's so cute. I'm really happy with this. I mean, it was ridiculously overpriced. It was $45 for this experience, by the way, but I did it for you guys. Everyone told me to on TikTok and I got to make some content out of it, okay? That's my justification for the day. It's so cute. So that's the, that's the jelly cat of the day.